Before we move on to our next big topic of system stability, I wanted to mention just one other thing. We've been really focusing on solving for the total response of our system using the zero input and zero state response concepts. And that way is kind of the typical way that we do that in linear systems, and it's a very general way to do things. If you can find the zero input response, find the zero state response, put them together, that is the total response. Another way of doing or finding the total response of the system is what we call the classical method. So this might be the way that you would have done this in kind of like a normal differential equations class. It also decomposes the total response into two pieces. The two pieces are the natural response and the forced response of the system. The natural response we've actually seen, that's that quantity y n of t, the natural response consists of the characteristic modes of the system. So we've actually done that. We actually formed y n of t by taking a linear combination of the characteristic modes. So we've kind of done this piece a little bit in some sense. The forced response when using this approach consists of all the non-characteristic modes of the system and this is the part that's due to the input. Typically when you use this classical method you can solve for y n of t pretty easily like we've done but then doing the forced response involves guessing. So if you tell me the form of the input, I go to a table, I look in my table, find that corresponding input, and guess an answer for the forced response. So that's nice. If you go to your table and your input is listed in the table, doing this way and just guessing and writing it down and then using initial conditions is a pretty fast way to do the problem. And notice that using that way avoids having to do convolution. The problem is is it only works for certain classes of inputs. If I give you an input and you go to your table to do it kind of the differential equations classical way, if that input's not in the table, you're just kind of done. So that's kind of a, a downside to this what I call classical method approach. I did want to mention it though because you know this is often how people learn how to solve differential equations in a Diffie Q class, right? You just kind of go look things up in a table, guess the form, plug in, make all the constants match up, make it all match up. But this is not the approach that we tend to take in this class. We, we tend to focus on the zero input component plus the zero state component. And the zero state component is where we do our convolution, which works for any input. We're not restricted to certain classes of inputs. So anyway, I just wanted to mention there is this other approach in your textbook, works examples like this. We're not going to really focus on that too much in this class.